Hi, welcome to AlmoSmith.com. And today I want to talk to you a little bit about Molly coating. What it is, what it isn't, and how to apply it. Now, I use a rotating tumbler or an old rock polisher that you can pick up at a garage sale or at a hobby store. You're going to need um, some good Molly. Uh, Midway sells it. It's Eh, it could be a little pricey, but you know what? It's worth it. You need the bullets. These are already done. I'm, I'm not. I've already coated as many bullets as I'm going to need for now, so I'm not going to bother um, molly coating any for you in front of you. But I'm going to show you what the end result looks like. These are bullets that I have molly coated. These are the 75 grain Amax by Hornady. And if you look at the prices, the way they sell them, they're usually quite a bit more expensive. And if you, you might want to get some gloves because the stuff will get all over your fingers. And I'm sure it's not the best stuff in the world for you. But there's a trick to doing this. And I want to tell you a couple of secrets that I've learned that's really helped me out a lot. If you can, get like a deep fryer, um, kind of a basket, or something like a colander or something that you can pour your bullets in. And the reason why you want to do that is you want to clean them before you molly coat them. Because a lot of times they have just a little bit of the lubricant used on them from the swaging press. And you don't want to use any kind of solvents on a polymer tip bullet like... Um, acetone or lacquer thinner it can melt that little polymer tip what I use is I go to the drugstore and get 99 percent rubbing alcohol and I put them in the little basket I submerge it give it a gentle shake and just for like a 30 seconds or so pull it out put it in front of a fan and let them air dry then it completely degreased and it'll accept the molly coat much better and it'll adhere to the bullets like you won't believe now, the reason why I use a tumbler like this is I found out the hard way that the vibrating tumbler creates one hell of a racket. You can't hear yourself think. That thing is so dang loud that when I did it in my garage, my neighbor was pounding on the door asking what the hell was going on. So I use this instead. It just rolls around. Now, you can see inside of here that I got some molly in there already and on my thumb too but you don't need a lot hardly at all and what I use is a, a dipper a 0.5 cc dipper from Lee I think this came with my 9 millimeter die set and the molly comes like a little tiny bag you just need to sp split it open just enough to get your little dipper in there reach down in there and grab some molly and as long as you keep this stuff dry in, in a cool dry place this stuff will last you forever I've had this for a really long time um, I bought this when I got my tumbler I bought my vibrating tumbler I bought the tumbler plus some extra drums because this stuff stains the inside of it like you wouldn't believe so here's just a nice even scoop If you've already got some in here already, you're gold. And these things get nasty, so make sure if you're going to use it, dedicate it to the molly because it's hard to get off. Stick it back in this little container. Put the lid on. Make sure it's on good and tight. Throw your bullets in there. And this one's nice because this one is also designed to be used with liquids. See the little dust popped out? Blech. Put the main cap back on there. Now this one has like a little drive wheel that goes, or not drive wheel, but a little wheel that goes around um, a guide on the tumbler itself. And even if not, what you can do is just roll it around like that with the bullets in there. You hear it rolling around if you just have like a um, um, 
one of those Folgers plastic coffee cans with a little lid that pops on her. That works. You know, just roll it around on the floor, have the kids shake it around, make sure your tip is shut so they don't open it up and get it everywhere. And what it does, instead of vibrating and driving you nuts, this will just roll around quietly, just kind of churn around on the little, the little motor. And the nice thing about rock polishers is they're designed to operate for a really long period of time. Now, when I got done with these, I went ahead and um, lubed up some other bullets. And you're not limited to what you do, just about for a hundred bullets, that's about all you'll need. And in fact, um, you only need to add just a little bit every time you use it. Now the one thing you have to know is when you take these out of the tumbler, they are going to be powder coated with this molly quite profusely. And get a rag that you're not going to really use for anything else and just give them a, a quick little wipe off. Because it's going to get all over your hands like this. It's going to get all over your bench. It's going to get all over your stuff. It's not bad. It's just messy. But you want to try to get as much out of it as you can. And the nice thing about molly coating, it does several things. One, it reduces fouling in your barrel. It adds lubricity to the bearing surface of the bullet itself and increases the ballistic coefficient by a little bit. Not a whole lot to make a difference, but you know it's worth it. Some say it doesn't work. I think it works fine. Some, some of my rifles like it, some of them don't. The one rifle that I really think it works well in is my 17 Remington. Because that is one fouling little rifle. Well, that's molly coating in a nutshell. But I wanted to show you guys some of the bullets that you can molly coat that will help you out. And also, if you want, um, if you know how to molly, you can go ahead and sell your services and molly coat some of your friend's bullets too. Okay, so you've seen the little molly coated um, 75 grain Amax bullet made by Hornady. Great little bullet. And it really likes that one to seven twist that I put it through. But here's a nice little one for comparison. This is an 800 grains Lapua um, match bullet for the 50 caliber. And it's a, what they call a wasted design. It has a little waste lathe cut into it. But these are molly coated too. And these things are slick. And these things will fly. When you're launching these things at about 2600 feet a second, believe me, it'll get there. And the molly helps, since it's a solid bronze bullet, helps reduce the amount of um, fouling that you can leave in your barrel. And if you don't like cleaning your barrels, and getting copper out or brass out or bronze out, whichever it is you're shooting out of there, this is not a bad way to do it. But when you're transitioning back to plain bullets, you really want to clean your barrels extremely well. Use like a bore paste or something to get all that molly coat out of there.